Friends, if you are thinking how to add BNB token to MetaMask, I will give you a full tutorial today. So now look at this MetaMask installation. Over here, you are seeing Matic, USDT and different tokens. And if you want to add a new token, there is a button called import tokens. And you're thinking, hey, let's use this and add BNB over here. Unfortunately, when you want to use BNB on MetaMask, this is now not how it would work. You will have to first get BNB network added over here. So you see this top section over here in MetaMask. By default, it is set to Ethereum mainnet and you can see I've added Polygon over here. But if you click add network, there are several other options which are possible by manually adding its details right here. Now, this could be a little tiresome and you could make errors over here. So here is an easy option on how to do it. The first way to do it is just click MetaMask, click this round icon on the top, go to settings, scroll down to experimental, scroll down again, and you see show custom network list, add, switch this button on inside show custom network list. Once you are done with this, click on the stop icon, which is currently saying Ethereum mainnet, and then click add network. You will see a whole host of options over here and you can add BNB smart chain or BSC chain over here by clicking the add button. The details are pre-filled. I can approve it and I will click this blue button switch to BNB smart chain. After the confirmation messages are done, you will see I am now on BNB smart chain and BNB token is showing up. If I want to receive BNB from someone, how do you find your address? It's extremely simple. You see this account one which is written above. Click on that and you will see that my address has been copied over here. So you can see the address on which I have this balance. So it's extremely easy to get BNB tokens over here. There is another way to add BNB network in case you are using a different version of MetaMask. Let me run you through that option as well. And let me also tell you a simple way of avoiding all of these troubles. Simply go and use something called Obvious Wallet. They work with your existing MetaMask, Trust Wallet or any other wallet, but the multi chain complexity is taken away by obvious wallet. It is a fantastic multi chain wallet, which does a lot more than what you are currently doing with MetaMask. They are also coming up with a crypto card, which I am excited about. And I am on the wait list to get this card. It's a self custody crypto card, which can work globally. So I can spend in local currency across the world, but use my crypto balance as the funding source. Isn't that great? So what's the second way of adding BNB network or what's the other trusted way of adding BNB smart chain to MetaMask? You simply go to bscscan.com. I'll give you the link in description. Over here, if you scroll down, you will see add BSC network button and you will see currently it says that it's already added to MetaMask, but in case you could not find that option in MetaMask, add BSC network option, this button over here will do it for you. Again, remember it's bscscan.com. Once you have your BNB smart chain as a network added inside MetaMask, switch to this network, copy your address and have your balance sent to this address. You can also import different tokens which are supported on BNB network. For example, I could have USDT inside BNB, which means that I can hold my USDT balance on the BNB network on the Binance smart chain. So the complexity that we are talking about over here is that, hey, there are different networks and within different networks, I can have the same token. So I can have USDT inside Polygon, as you can see over here. I can also have USDT inside BNB. If I go to CoinGecko, our favorite source, click on Tether and you see the different options over here. There is Binance Smart Chain. If I say add to MetaMask over here, I can add USDT as a token inside the BNB network as well. So when you are receiving tokens, you need to be careful which network it is being sent to, not just which token is being sent. So if someone is sending you USDT or if you are withdrawing USDT, 
from a certain source. You need to know which of these networks you are withdrawing it on and that's the address which you need to share with people. Again, how do you get your address? You click here and you get it as copy to clipboard. And remember, Obvious Wallet will make your life easy. I also want to introduce you to Sipto, which is an algo trading system, which is again self custody. You keep your balances on your exchange or your DeFi network like DYDX, and they do algo trading on your behalf to make returns. Again, trading is risky. I am not making a financial suggestion. I am introducing you to this tool, which I like. If you want to try it out, the link is in description. See you next time.